today I'm at Culture Start Machine Tool Solutions and with Trevor Matthews we're going to be looking at this new machine, this new model, which is the, uh, this is actually the Culture to Student Plus. Uh, but what we're going to do now is have a look at the control. We're going to have a demonstration from Trevor as to how this works. So talk us through this control, Trevor. The control, Paul, is basically um, a digital readout with um, uh, simple cycles in there. Okay? It's um, in collaboration with Bosch Redcroft, okay? so it's a new to us and uh, it will do manual cutting, simple cycles, external threading, internal threading, external turning, internal turning. So you've got all the cycles on here as well. Okay, so now if I wanted to use this machine as a conventional lathe, I could, mm -hmm. but what you're going to show me now is how simple some of these cycles are to create then. Could yes. you maybe pick a couple? Okay, well I'm, what I'll do, I will do an external turning, rough and finish, external threading. Simple okay, enough. let's do it. Okay, so first of all then, okay, we're going to auto mode, then we're going to cycle setup. So if you see now on the screen now, we've got all the external turning cycles, all the internal turning cycles. So you choose which one you want. So I'm just going to choose turning. You're presented with this page then, Paul, where you fill in the boxes. Okay. Top one, starting point diameter. All you do is press the square, type in your starting point diameter, 35. Fill the rest in, starting point Z, end point diameter in the x-axis. And once you fill them all in, you just press the big green button in the corner, press save. The machine's ready to go. Okay, uh, that seems dead simple. simple. Okay, simple. well let's have a look at another one then while, while we're here. Okay, so if we look go over to a threading one, okay. So if you look at the threading uh, cycle here, again it's the same format. So you're looking at starting point diameter X, which is your thread diameter. Starting point in Z axis, which might be zero, might be a minus figure, it's further along the shaft. End point in Z axis, the thread pitch, thread depth, and depth of first cut or number of cuts. So you can take a choice on what you want to do. Okay, once, so once you've created these, do you store them or can you put them together? So let's say, for example, you wanted to turn the OD and then do a thread. Do you put the two cycles together? Is that how it works? No, no, each one will be done separately, just like a centre layer, okay? But what you have here, it's all done automatically instead of being done manually. Uh, Trevor, you've been in this game a long time. How advantageous is it to have this type of uh, software or this type of control solution on a machine that is conventional as well? The big difference between this and a conventional thing is, Paul, okay, on the conventional machines, you're doing all the moves manually, engaging all your feed for your manual cutting, engaging for your thread dial indicators. On here, it's done automatically, okay, which is, it takes a big chunk out away from using a manual machine. Okay, now is this available, this system available? We've got a student here and try for there's various models within the Colchester range. Can you apply this to these other machines? This control, Okay, it can be put on any of our conventional machines. Right from the student up to the Mastiff. Okay, wow, so if you're a conventional machinist, but you want to step into the next level, if you want to uh, make those components or do some of those operations uh, far quicker, then here's an option for you from Colchester Machine Tool Solutions. This will be on show at the Mac 2020 show uh, in Birmingham at the NEC. Thank you very much, Trevor. Thank you very much, Paul.